I need a new set of ropes. So come and join me. Today I will build a new set of ropes. My old one are pretty worn down, so I need a new pair. And in this case, I will show you step by step how to build them and how to get really nice ropes like this one. But first, hey, I'm Kai. I run this YouTube channel all about the flow arts with poise, stuff, or juggling with clubs and balls. I will teach you how you build the tools, how to train with the tools, and also some performances. So if you like content all around this topic, click the subscribe button, ring the bell icon, and now let's get started. Before we dive in, I'm a European guy, so I use centimeters and millimeters in uh, units. So you have to change it in football fields, bars, tubs, or whatever you are using. Uh, this is 10 millimeter rope. The final rope will be pretty long. These are roughly, I think, 70 centimeters. Yes. So if you want shorter one, you have to do a little bit of guesstimations how to realize it. What you need, 10 millimeter rope for one poi, two ropes with two meter 20, a handle, which kind, whatever you prefer, a piece of ro uh, chain, a rubber band comes in handy, you see later why, and uh, chain rings, key rings, but keep in mind, as showed here in the close-up cam, these are pretty beefy ones, so don't use the cheap one in, out of every hardware store or even worse from your keychain. Get really beefy one or if you haven't access to them, use a dedicated chain link or something like that, which can handle the high load of this tool. I personally don't like uh, Technora in this case. Uh, so yeah, just a simple chain and metal. What you need as tools, are two pliers. One nose needle plier is really important to get a nut really nice and tight. And basically that's it. So let's start it. The first step, the first step is to cut your Kevlar rope. I use two meter 20 to get seven, around 70 centimeters of uh, finished rope. The tie-off knot roughly needs 35 centimeters. So from there you can do some guesstimations how much more or less rope you need to get the de desired length and don't have to cut away too much unused rope. And now we grab a sharpie, mark the center of the ropes, and from there, not from there, from the end. We measure 35 centimeters and make a mark there with the Sharpie. That's come in handy later when we are making the final nut to know where we have to switch from one nutting nut pattern to the other one. So, the first key ring goes into the uh, second part of the chain, not into the last one. And you should pay attention that the, um, how should I describe it? Damn it, I've done it wrong myself. So you grab, so you grab the, ch 
chain ring key ring and put it into the last, uh, not the last, the second part of the chain. And you have to uh, place it between the other links so that you have basically a link, then the key ring, uh, the key ring and then a second link. And now we grab our uh, second key ring and now we go through the key ring we already installed and the last part of the chain. Now the installed chain rings should be perpendicular to each other and you can uh, install your handle, whatever handle you prefer. In this case, it's a single finger loop. And we grab our ropes and we uh, thread one rope through the first key ring and the second rope through the other key ring when I find the middle mark, here, no, yes, here. Uh, and maybe you can see it already here. It helps us to get into this uh, crisscross pattern for the beginning of the knotting. And uh, it gives us a little bit of redundancy if one key, uh, uh, key ring is breaking off or bending off, we still have the second one which will hold the whole snake. And now let's swatch, switch, switch to the uh, overhead cam where I show you in detail how I knot this rope. Here you can see the beginning of the nut. It's basically a forced grand square sinnet. So you're going with two ropes parallel to each other, uh, making a cross, and then with the other one, making a cross again, and repeat the step, the whole length of the rope. When you reach the end, you grab your rubber band and fix all four strands together. After we fixed the four strands, we are going to tighten the whole knot, which means we pull out every slack we can until we reach the end and then repeat this process to get it nice and tight. After tightening every strand, you may have to add a few more crisscrosses to your knot to reach the mark for the tie-off. The tie-off is a double foot rope knot. So I go in here into real time. I try to mark every rope in a different color, black, blue, green and natural or yellow. So you make a basic box knot, which means you go over each other into this loop, like over, over, over into this loop. We don't tighten this knot yet. We go now with every strand under the next strand and then through the loop. Now your knot should be looked like this inside a box knot which the rope goes over and outside a box knot where the ropes go under each other. 
in the next step, we join these two nuts together. So now you grab one end from the outer box knot and integrate it to the inner box knot. So you grab it in, for example, the green rope and put it parallel to the first green rope through the box knot. And now the box knot should be completely doubled up on the on top view. Now you can check if everything looks proper and start to tighten up the knot. But you should not tighten it all the way because we have to add another step in a second. Here you see at the outside of the knot we have one rope, then two ropes, then one rope again. And where only one rope is on the side, we have to add a second. You go with your needle nose pliers through the inside, through the center of your box knot and grab a rope that comes out of the side and pull it through the center of the box knot. You repeat this process with the last remaining three ropes and when you are finished all ropes should be come out of the center of the box knot and you can check the knot if everything looks fine before we start to finally tighten it up. Now you can simply remove the rubber band holding everything in place and start to work all four strands from the end of the four strand square box knot to the uh, foot rope knot and tighten everything up. the magic of film editing. I'm back here with my almost finished rope. We only have to cut off the ends of the rope in an even distance that every rope has the same length. And when we are finished with cutting them off. We have our perfectly nice new rope. I hope I could inspire you to build this one. This has a bigger flame than the single with a single strand or a double strand but I built them for performance use only. Because of that, they're a little bit longer than normal poi. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button. So, you know, I like to see that you appreciate my work and it really helps me out and my channel out to grow. And here you find the subscribe button to the channel. And if you don't like to play fire yet, and want to have a set of train contacts poi, you find here a tutorial video how to build them. Bye!